What's going on guys? Mike with Tiger Supplies and today I'm with my favorite surveyor. Mariana. Awesome. So we got a really cool piece of content for you guys. It's all about total stations today. Um, kind of the factors to consider when making a purchase, um, even some of the differences between the lower end models all the way up to the higher models. So um, Mariana, talk to me a little bit about, you know, total stations in general from let's just say an entry point all the way up to those high ends. Of course. So there's two options you can go with. Okay. Manual and robotic. Okay. Depending what you do, one will make more sense than the other. Um, manual, you have two sectors over there. You have reflectorless or you have prism only. Okay. Reflectorless, you can shoot at anything, you know, top of the building, ground, whatever you need. Um, prism only, of course, you can only operate with the prism, so that's ultimately two people. Got it. Right? Uh, and then into the robotics, it's solely a one man operated operation. Okay. Um, total station is following the prism, the person's holding the, the rod with the prism, and it's locking itself to it. So. You're by yourself. Got it. So the main difference is really, hey, a one-man operation on a robotic with a two-man operation on the manual. Right, essentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I guess you could do the one-man on the manual, but what is that for kind of specific work? Um, or? Yeah, so re when you're using reflectorless, you don't need the second person, but you can't really use reflectorless at the entire job site. There's some things that you do need to have that prism there. Yeah. Um, so you know it works but at the same time it's for specific things got it mm -hmm. got it so you know talk to me too about the data collector that works with these robotic total stations sure it also works for the manual okay. um and it's not all manuals that it will work for but most of them yes so uh the data collector is almost the heart of everything you do on a daily basis it's where all your your data all your work is going to be stored at got it you want to make sure you get a data collector that's first compatible with your total station uh -huh. and second that your software is intuitive enough for you to understand what you're doing right the that, software yeah that dictates you know the speed of your of your job of your of workflow your, yeah. and everything okay and when you're looking at software you know what are some things that you, you're really looking for Right, so with software, you want to look for something that is intuitive, mm -hmm. easy to use, mm -hmm. um, uh, price. How often do you have to upgrade that every year, every now and then, mm -hmm. you know, and does is it work? Is it compatible with other pieces of equipment you have? Got it. GNSS, so on and so forth. And, and I guess, too, with the software aspect, you know, everything's in the data collector, but how about when you have to export onto ultimately the c computer in the office? How, how does that work? So there are some data collector that um, you can export into the port in the USB on the side. Okay. Some you do, you have like a data transfer that you can send it via email because they're Windows 10, you mm. know, uh, operational system. Um, and somebody just plug it in the cable, put it in the computer, and you do it that and way. And you export it that way. Yeah. Okay, very cool. So, listen, to wrap it up, you know, you have five years of experience in the surveying industry and, mm -hmm. and being a surveyor. You know, if you're going to make a purchase, right, you make this really once every five, ten years, you know, what are you looking for in, in the whole um, package? If you are okay with spending a little bit more, uh, right now robotics is the way to go. Okay. You're not only cutting down time, but you're cutting down how many people you have on the crew. So ultimately that reduces, you know, your cost right. and you can get things done faster. Um, if you know, you don't want to spend that much up front, yeah. I recommend going with something that's reliable, a total station that has been in the market for a little bit longer so you can get parts for it, you know, in case it breaks, in case you need to repair so on and so forth, especially you're going to stay with it for five to 10, ten years, years if yeah. you take good care of it. Um, and ultimately if you're using the data collector, get something that you can understand because that's gonna make your life a thousand times mm. easier when you're in the field. Got it, like you said, that's the heart of you know every surveyor and what they do for the most part. Right, so. if you use a data collector, the software, it's what you should be worried about. Awesome, awesome. Well, listen, Mariana, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next that's time. What here for.